so this is going to be Aquarius Sun Moon and as well rising weekly love and relationship a tarot reading December 30th to, uh, to uh, January 5th 2020 and uh, if you want to get in touch with me guys or to schedule a reading you can check the description down below and uh, there you're gonna find my website from which once again you can schedule a reading or and get in touch with me in general so um, that being said let's move to the reading itself now the first card which represents the topic and the theme of your love and relationship week um, Aquarius this is going to be the eight of Pentacles followed by the energies which are supporting the topic and the theme of the week that will be the nine of cups followed by the third one which stands as the uh, challenges that you will have to overcome unfortunately throughout the week itself that is going to be the four the fourth card represents the gifts and the blessings that the week has in store for you we have the four of cups Followed by uh, the fifth card here, it is of how people are seeing you, how your friends and family are seeing you, how your person of interest is seeing you, your partner, your lover, etc, etc. So that will be the hangman. <clears throat> the sixth card here is what you can do in order to help your long term goal in regards to love and relationship. That is going to be the emperor. Followed by the seven card here, which stands as a what can hurt your long term goal in regards to love and relationship. We do have the world and the last one here, which is the guidance the tarot is offering to you, um, Aquarius. That is going to be the card of Aquarius. We do have the star. All right. So uh, quite of an interesting uh, reading is what we do have. And it's... Um, involving um i don't know how to say it, it looks like as it involves second second chances um give um, making another try uh, or kind of like improving one's circumstances in regards to love and relationship but it is very uh potent as well for those who are looking for love also it kind of has two narratives and i would try my best here to give you um, as much as i can from both of those narratives so the first couple of cards which are uh, the topic here of the ace of the eight of pentacles and the energies which are supporting the topic now long story short those two cards are saying that you are um, likely to find yourself throughout the week achieving a lot in regards to love uh, and relationship kind of like reaching a very solid miles milestone if you will and that milestone is going to um, present you with life fulfillment if you wish uh, joy exhilaration for some ecstasy even now important as well to be acknowledged here it is that this should not be accepted as a as something granted or a gift but rather a further actions are to be needed in order to consolidate and secure that good achievement either being single or either being uh, in a in a relationship and now this is what uh, this is where the narrative differentiates okay so single people are very likely to find a, a good match for themselves throughout this week only however if they start socializing that is described here into the eight of pentacles and the not only the energy but your personal uh, inner impulse is going to push you into socializing now important thing here to be acknowledged as well is that uh things are going to develop slowly but very uh but in a very secure and uh, predictable fashion as well now people who already have um, a relationship the eight of pentacles for them stands as a uh, attending to the relationship with a, a big portion of um, conscientiousness if you will and also attending to the details of the relationship itself that is going to boost the confidence and the trust that your partner or person of interest has in you and as well will allow you whatever you have 
planned for a long time to be finally have a chance to be manifested once again it will happen slowly it's not gonna happen overnight maybe not throughout throughout this week but the very least you will be able to work out the foundations of this plan of endeavor whatever you have so the other card it is the uh, challenge that you need to overcome and First of all, the challenge itself, it is not to take everything personal. Now, the full card, it is very carefree and that is going to be the challenge for you to be carefree, to be uh, not adaptable, but let's say playful, uh, kind of to have that sense of detachment, if you will. And I will try to tell you, uh, to give you an example, something says, a thing that you don't like, don't dwell into it, all right? Just let it surpass you, let it just go by and flies by, excuse me, and goes with the flow. Don't take everything so profound, if I may say it that way. Additionally to that, as we said that you need to socialize, that also, in case you're single, that is, or you're looking for love, that also is going to be a bit challenging for you to start getting to know new people. For reason being is that you're gonna find it difficult and hard first to open yourself for new people and second to find people who see creative madness, if you will, into your idea and, and, and understanding of, of life itself. So the other card here it is the gifts and the blessings that the week is offering to you, Aquarius, and that will be the Four of Cups. Uh, Four of Cups as a gift and blessings, it speaks first of a uh, pretty uh, se big security of an, an emotional um, containment, okay? It's like nothing is going to touch you as, as bad as you may think. I don't know how to describe it. So take it that way. Let's say that your emotion is... Um, it's a glass fill of uh, a field of water, a cup, a cup fill field of water, and uh, no one will be able to push that cup away and to spill the water out. That being said, another gift and blessing here that is given to you, it is a new opportunity as well. Now, if you can observe, the person is staring at the cups that are in front of him, unaware of a fourth cup next to him now as the cloud as the hand is presenting this cup from the cloud it kind of like it is um accompanied with certain uh, not problems okay but let's say a bit of an uncomfortable circumstances but also the gift and the blessing tells that you have to how can i say it stray for more i mean you are in a state or a situation where something needs to be provoked something new needs to be provoked in order to start experiencing new emotional heights and, and exhilarations once again uh, the other card, it represents how people see you, how um, your partner sees you, how your lover, right, husband or a wife, uh, friends and family, etc., etc. That is the hangman and people see you in a stillness right now. But also people are understanding that you are changing, not exactly changing, but the way you think it's changing. What I am trying to say here, Aquarius, it is that those who does not adapt into, I would say it, quote in quote, your lifestyle, they are gonna lose you because you, you as a personality, uh, as an individual, you're not changing, but your perspective is changing, your um, awareness is changing, and your needs are to change as well. Uh, that being said, people have to catch up with you quickly. They are going to be warned for it. I mean, there are going to be hin hints for it. And those who find you as a, um, as a valuable companion, if you will, are going to catch up with you. Those who doesn't care, they will simply going to be left stranded. Uh, the other card here, it is um, what you can do in order to help your long-term relationship and love go. And we have the Emperor. Now, the Emperor is, 
it's not a good card when it comes to relationship. It is because it's completely deprived from emotions. For a reason being, it's that the emperor always take, tries to take control over everything. As I, mean, uh, I mean, this is a mandatory for the emperor, otherwise the emperor falls. So what I am trying to say here to you, Aquarius, it is that uh, you have to... Yeah, it's obvious you have to take control over your love and relationship life, but how? It is the, it is the question. Well, by showing yourself reliable. Do not give a word if you don't intend to keep it. All right, that's first thing. Um, show gratitude to those who did you good. Show um, not exactly retribution, but it's kind of like resentfulness maybe to those who did you wrong as well. Okay, uh, do not hesitate. That is important. And as well, uh, kind of like uh, given an impression and not just only an impression, but take a standpoint that you know what you want and you know how you want it. That will allow you to face the everyday ups and downs, love and relationship with much more bear and with much more ease. And as well, will allow you to uh, make a clearance for yourself as well. That being said, you got to show yourself as an individual. What I mean here it is that the person of your interest or your new lover or your current partner should not take you as a puppy that they can just wave a bone, right? And you are pretty much follow it, whatever it goes. Or in my country, we say when someone tells you jump, you don't say why, you say how high, okay? So this is how people should not take you on for granted. Uh, the other card, it is uh, what you should not do uh, or kind of like what can hurt your long term goal. And this is what I say. It's kind of like second chances because you should not close the chapter. It's pretty much what the world here points. I mean, either you are in a relationship or you're in a social circle and etc, etc. Uh, you still have what to take from it and therefore you should not walk away from it okay at least for now until you uh, take the substantial lesson or you catch the substantial person from that social circle or environment and the final card for you is going to be the guidance and that is the star Oh my, so the star card here uh, tells you that you need to show how uh, big of an, an example you are. I don't know how to say, but let's say how unique you are and that no one will be able to find anybody like you. Therefore, you do have so much more, so much, not more, but so much love or more love to give and shame to those who miss the opportunity to take on this, uh, to take on this love. But above everything else, guys, have faith. And especially, you know, in my line of work, I am kind of encountering this question more than I would like to. Will I ever find love again? If you are a single Aquarius, yes, you will. Yes, you will. So that being said, um, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading Aquarius for um, December 30th to January 5th, 2020. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, if you want to get in touch with me um, and schedule a personal reading, you can check the description down below. There you're going to find a um, link to my website. And uh, that was your reading. Hope you enjoyed it. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.